Well, Debbie Wasserman show got caught threatening the Washington, D.C. Metro Police Department's chief of police. That is stunning. Okay, let's go back a few months. Remember, we were asking the question why there aren't certain investigations. And obviously, there's a lot of corruption in Washington. You see, we've heard this and drain the swamp. Well, this is an example of the swamp. And I'm going to put the link in the information below for you to pay attention to this. Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who was ordered literally, I mean, I don't know, order, but she was, she stepped down as DNC chair during the election. And that was at the time when. Uh, the Bernie Sanders supporters found out that they were rigging the numbers and that was basically that whole thing led to this big eruption within the DNC. And I, I honestly think the Democrat Party is done anyway at this point. With this kind of corruption, there's no way a party could stay together. And I think that is why the party had split on who they were going to you know, elect for the Democratic ticket. And you could see what was happening during the time of the DNC convention and how the Bernie Sanders supporters were treated, I'm not surprised. And I think they, that was to their own destruction, of course. But watching her line of questions, and this is a man, this is a man of great high ranking. He's the chief of police in Washington, D.C., Metro Police Department. So the way she's ordering questions around, like she's ordering him around and he's he's literally stumbling over his words. That is not the kind of behavior that is common or typical of a professional relationship. She obviously has something to, to gain from this, obviously. But she wants her tablet back. She, said, she was asking these line of questions like, well, a DNC staffer um, had my tablet and I need it and... I guess to me, it, it starts to raise a lot of other questions because if this wasn't caught on video, somebody had to show this video for some reason because they were watching this back and forth. Usually when you see something that's out of the ordinary, they're going to, somebody's want to catch it on video. And this is out of the ordinary for obvious reasons, you know, um, but you almost have to watch the video, but let's go back a couple months ago, maybe like November when we were asking the question why it wasn't there an investigation into some of the restaurants down there regarding Comet Ping Pong, well, one of the things I was concerned about is that why wouldn't they, why wouldn't the fire department look into why are they strapping kids down with tape? That, that to me is a clear violation of the fire code safety. If you run a restaurant, well, I think it's obvious that they don't investigate anything because after the report with Rod Wheeler, who consulted with a detective there, and then of course, um, consulting with the FBI investigator who handles forensics when it comes to like the email and then this. So, you know, that kind of behavior and how all she really wanted was her tablet, but she's going to interrogate the chief of police for a tablet. We know Debbie Wasserman Schultz is not just some ordinary person, but no one's above the law. These are the law. These are the police officers. She, if she can really demand or politicize this, this is a procedure thing as you know, it doesn't take anybody. You don't have to go to police academy to figure out that that's, that's usually what happens if there's things that you need to pick up, but you have to, I know we, one time we had to pick up, um, you know, a box of evidence and we had to sign in and sign out and it was logged in and logged out and all that stuff. That's a procedure thing. It's not a big deal. I mean, these, these are things that you have to do. So I found this really interesting that because of her position, political clout, you know, this is why power and control is the problem because she obviously is the epitome of corruption. She's let her power make her, I mean, she's literally drunk in power. That's no kidding, the way she was talking to him. Unfortunate.